friends today I'm going to show you how to use MySQL using Excel so at first what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google Chrome and I'm going to search for MySQL for Excel so here are the first link you can see MySQL for Excel in the MySQL.com website so just open it and here you can see the download now button so you can just click this download now button so this MySQL for Excel software will integrate into the Excel and with the help of this plugin you can import the MySQL data export the MySQL data and you can also append and edit the MySQL data so let's download it so here you can download as a MSI installer just download and install the software and after installation you can go to the Excel I'm using MS Office 2013 so I'm using Excel 2013 here so go to data options and here you can see my SQL for Excel installed as a plugin so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the MySQL server so let's start the XM control panel to start the MySQL server I'm going to start the MySQL So it was in a running status. So let's open the MySQL for Excel in the Excel. So it is asking for the connections will be migrated to MySQL Workbench connection file. So do you want to migrate connections now? I am also using the MySQL Workbench here. So I will just give no for time being so after giving no you can see the mysql plugin options here so if you give yes if even though if you use mysql workbench if you give yes for that it will directly open the mysql workbench software so i have given no for that to open the mysql for excel plugin so here you can see the mysql server which is running in the local as a local connection so i'm going to connect it so here you can see actually it will first of all ask for the username and password what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this connection I'm just going to create new connection so let's name it as exam MySQL so let it be and the username is root and the password is uh, empty and the host name is localhost just select test connection so it was showing that the connection was successful so select ok and select ok here so here you can see the MySQL was open and you can just double click it to open and see the schemas what are the schemas available here I'm going to open a schema called test <coughs> here you can see the tables views and procedures which are all available here just open a table so there is no table for here so I'm going to go back and open this college database so double click it <coughs> and here you can see there are many databases which is available here so there is also a view here so let's open a database called database object called country here you can see the table here I am just going to import the MySQL data first so click this import MySQL data option here you can see the import option so this is the window which was used to import the 
MySQL data from a table. I'm just simply going to select import. And here you can see the MySQL data was imported. And I'm going to change this India as China. So I have changed it successfully. And now what I'm going to do is I need to write this data into the database. So what I'm going to do is and if you see I can only I have only imported the MySQL data here so I can't write this data into my database. So what I can do is I can delete this and I'm just going to select edit MySQL data here. So here I have just selected and now I can select the option called import. So here the data was imported and if you see here there is an option called revert data commit changes. So if you see this option you are this is the live database which I'm going to edit. So I'm going to edit the England as China and If you see here the data which I have edited was showing as blue color and I will just update this one as one and if you see here the data which was edited was showing as blue color and whenever you select the edited data it will ask for a confirmation to commit the changes. I'm just going to commit changes. So if you see the edited data for the table country was committed successfully. If you, if it was shown there are two rows which are affected. So if you see it has shown as green now that means the data was updated successfully. So select OK and just select another sheet now we can just import the MySQL data and see so here you can see the data is China now not England and here it was one before that it was shown the null so this is how you will use the MySQL data to update the data and now let's see how to append excel data to a table i'm just going to import now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to select append excel data to a table just select this option so it was asking for a append data to my sql table so it is asking for a confirmation here you need to enter the data to append it to the current database so right now i'm just going to map this one i'm just going to select append so here you can see the column mapping for a column is incomplete you want to proceed i'm just going to give s and check it no it was not mapped correctly i'll just select this first row contains column names so here i'm just going to append it
so here you can see the database changed successfully so this is how you will happen the data to the existing stable so I need to revert the changes first so I think it was so it was appended so that was appended so I will just change it later so this is how you will use the MySQL for Excel plugin in Excel so there are more and more options which is available like uh, SQL query options session settings and the connection options so you can these things you can use these things to edit the light MySQL data in using the Excel 2013 or Excel 2007 you can also use it in Excel 2010 also so just download it from the MySQL website and you can use it without any issues because it was uh, available directly in the MySQL.com itself so use these options and uh, enjoy your tutorial and thank you for watching the video